again so that everyone's fit for tomorrow. Uh, so is it likely to be the same team again or is this a, uh, a big secret? It's, it's a bit of a secret because we've got uh, David Miller and Kesh Maharaj in now sure. as well. So we've got our full complement of five overseas. Um, and Alec Athenaid uh, looks like he's fit for selection as well. So, so it will definitely be a different team. Um, it's a good headache to have because some of the youngsters that have come in have played really well as well. So, so we'll have a selection meeting later and then um, come up with the team. Any concerns about, you know, some people say you don't change with any team, but now you've gotten your bars for riches. <laughs> What's your mindset um, as you sit down to see Yeah, I know. Sometimes you think like that, but we've had to make changes because uh, young Willa Lugger had to go home as well because Miller and uh, Maharaj have turned up. So we're always going to make one or two changes. Um, and Alec obviously is playing for West Indies and he's a uh, up and coming batsman that uh, really needs to play on our side. So it's going to be up for debate in the selection meeting. How have you seen the pitches in the Caribbean so far? You've played a couple of places and you've come back home. Your thoughts on the pitches? Because there has been concern about pitches in the Caribbean of late. Yeah, well, the funny one in St. Kitts, there <laughs> were 250. And then yeah. when we played, it was a bit worn. It was yeah. like a 150 wicket. So sometimes you don't know. But that, that wicket there was just an absolute belter. Mm -hmm. um, and then we, we played a few warm-up games here. Um, in, in the camp, and they actually played quite well as well. We, we had some middle practices on the same wicket, so still played quite well. Um, I think everybody knows that spin play comes into um, the CPL. Um, as the tournament goes on, the spinners come into play. Um, and the grounds are very different here. It's like there's always a wind factor. Sometimes it's smaller, sometimes the lights are lower, so there's a lot more drop catches. It's, it's really entertaining cricket. So I think the wickets, as we go on, get tougher. But we're hoping for a very good winter tonight. And with the talking about the weather, obviously we've had constant rain pretty much earlier this week. Uh, how's the surface looking? You've been out there. Yes, I had a tonight. look. It looks good. It looks yep. like the, during the camp, actually. So it looks like a good batting strip. But sometimes you just don't know what's underneath there. So, no, and, and at the moment, that, that looks like a decent look. And when, when it comes to team selection tomorrow, will the fact that the, the weather could be up and down during the, the day and the evening. Will that come into play I with the selection? I think if there's like a five over game or ten over game, then something we can tweak it there. But not really. Not when we turn up here, it might be more over cars or something. I don't think we'll change it once we're sitting. All right.